Okay, this is the hourly pay Excel. Um, the second one I'm going to be doing along with you. So, again, this is our hourly pay. It's much easier to do than those darn commission rates where you have to do the lookup. So, in A1, you just type, the row one, you just type in the titles. You're going to type in name on A1, N-A-M-E. Go to B1, and you type in the pay rate. Go to C1, type in Monday. Tuesday in D1, Wednesday in E1, Thursday in F1, and Friday in G1. Now you got to go over to H1 because you need these amounts. You got to do hours. H is for how many hours they worked. Okay. And then I1 is for regular hours. Okay, remember that's up to 40 if they work 40. And then OT hours for J1, just what it says, just OT hours, overtime hours. And then K1 is their actual pay. That's when I find the actual pay. Okay, now go under your A and you just start typing names. Jesse, Adam, Scott, Alexis, Lindsay, name. Okay, so row two is going to be for Scott. Or no, Jesse. Jesse's row two. Adam's row three. Scott's row four. Alexis is row, row five. Lindsay's row six. And Natalie is row seven. Okay. Then the pay rates, okay, which you have. So you got $15 for Jesse. Remember to get the dollar sign. $10 for Adam, $13 for Scott, $11 for Alexis, $20 for Lindsay, she must be the manager or something, then $14 for Natalie. Okay, now go across row two and enter in Jesse's hours, 10, 10, 10, 10, 8. That's how many hours he worked each of those days. Okay, and then I go to row three and do likewise for Adam. Okay, 15, 12, 9. Okay, then Scott, he worked 3, 4, 6, 7, 6. And then Alexis, 4, 2, 0, 3, 4. Then Lindsay, 8, 10, 8, 8, 8. And then finally Natalie, 9, 11, 9, 8, 7. Okay. Okay, now we go into the H column and we start entering in some calculation formulas. So hours. Hours equals sum because it's going to add up the hours. Don't just add them all. As soon as you get sum, you got to click on the function right there. And then you just go C2 through G2 because that makes sense because that's all Jesse's hours. Okay. Close the parentheses. Or no, not C2. My bad. I had the wrong thing. Do not highlight the pay rate. It's got to be C2 through that one. Okay. Equals, so she worked 40, he worked 48 hours. I guess Jesse could be a girl if you talk about it. Then I just drag and drop, and that's the hours the rest of them work. So as you can see, four of the six worked overtime, and two of them did not. Okay. Now the regular hours. Now some of these, the regular hours is 40, but not all these people worked 40, so that's why I need to, I can't just enter in 40. I need to go equals if IF, then that comes up, okay, depends on something. If, and then a parentheses, H2, because that's the hours they worked, H2 is less than or equal to, so less than, and then shift up here, or no, not shift with the equals, you just hit the button. 
If it's less than or equal to 40, comma, you just want it to type in H2, okay? But then you need another comma, okay? Because that tells you if not, if it's not less than or equal to 40, I want it to just take 40, okay? Close the parentheses up and then entered in 40 for him because he worked more than 40. But when I drag and drop some of these other guys, okay, it just took H2. So again, if parentheses H2 less than, so that's shift here, shift comma, and then equals 2 here. If it's less than or equal to 40, we want it to take the number from the H row. And in Jesse, that would be H2. If not, if he worked more than that, we just want 40. Okay, now the overtime hours. This needs another if, so equals if. Then click on that. You can't just go at the word. You have to click on it. And then a parentheses if H2, again, that's his hours. If H2, remember, overtime, you got to be greater than 40. So if H is greater than 40, comma, we need to subtract the hours H2 minus 40, okay? That'll give you the overtime hours. So H2 minus 40, comma, because they're not all over 40. If not, they enter in zero. If it's not greater than 40, you enter in zero because they did not work overtime, okay? So he worked eight overtime hours. Remember, we've got those two right in the middle, so they have zeros, okay? So again, if H2 greater than 40, greater than shift, period, comma, if it's over 40, I want to take H2, the hours, because okay, okay, Roy's referring to H2, because that's the hours. I take the hours minus 40, and if it's not greater than 40, we want it just to give a zero. Okay, then time to find the pay. Okay, remember, so regular pay equals, I want to take his pay rate, that's a regular pay, B2, times shift 8, how many regular hours he worked, which is I2. Okay, whoops, I, I touched my screen, that's bad. No, now it disconnected me from the thing, got to sit right. Okay, so equals parentheses B2, because that's the hourly rate, okay, times just the regular hours, so regular hours under I2, B equals parentheses B2 times I2, remember times is shift 8. Close it, and now we add another parentheses for the overtime. Now remember, overtime I'm going to use B2, but first got to get 1.5, times shift A, B2 again, and then times shift A times the overtime hours, which is J2, okay? Then close your parentheses. 780 for that guy, and then the rest of them I just drag and drop, and now I have my payroll. See, if I was working at a job, once this was set up, I wouldn't have to redo all these formulas, okay? Like if I raise the guy's pay, I just enter it, enter his hours, and so forth, and there we go, okay? So there we have it. That's how much they all got paid. Send that to me when you get it.